Hello everybody, I'm so excited to film this video. This is my much requested chili recipe. This is a staple in our house. It is the blazing part of summer and we are eating chili because it's our favorite. We eat it all the time. It's so good. And I'm also featuring this Kasori Premium Multi Cooker. I did not even know something like this existed because I always wanted to make my chili in the crock pot but you have to like brown the ground beef and stuff. So I was like, well, it's not worth dirtying two things. You can saute in here. I can brown the ground beef. I don't know if you can see. This is an oven, a slow cooker, and a stove. You guys, who knew this was a thing? This thing is amazing. I'm so excited to get it out and show you how it works. Um, you can do a delay timer. You can do keep warm. I'm just so excited. This could, this could really be a huge help um, to me. Um, it has all of these things press of a button, you have all these programs, 12 programs. Um, they're very precise, faster than takeout. Um, it just looks so nice. Thank you, Kasori, for sending this to me. None of this is sponsored. I'm going to tell you um, my own opinion on how it works. It comes with a glass lid, an inner pot, and then the base of it. It also comes with a recipe book and a steam rack, which is key. That is awesome. Um, so I'm going to get this puppy out. I'm going to show you how I make my chili. First of all, let me show you the ingredients you need. Don't mind the mess. This is real life. And there's stuff in the background. I have a very small kitchen, so we're just made, we're making it work. Um, I follow the Pioneer Woman's Frito Chili Pie recipe for my chili. I do change a couple of things, so I'm going to kind of show you what I change. But other than that, use her measurements and stuff, and I'll link that recipe down below so I don't have to get into all the little tiny measurements. I'm also doubling this recipe so that I will have enough to freeze for leftovers. I love doing that. So let me show you what you'll need, and then um, we'll get started. So you need ground beef. She says to you two pounds per one recipe. I'm going to use only one pound, and this is some I froze um, that's been defrosting. Um, I'm only going to use one pound for a two recipe batch. I feel like you don't need as much meat. It's cheaper to make it. We don't miss it having it really, really meaty. So I use a pound of meat for a double batch. You can use as much meat as you want. So I'm going to double it. So everything I show you is going to be double. So I've got a big can of tomato sauce. The only thing I'm not doubling is this, and that's just because I only have one of these, but this is uh, Rotel. And um, I like to grind this up so you'll see that. I don't like the big pieces of tomatoes. I'm sure it's just me being weird. You guys probably all like it. So just dump in the whole can. But I like to puree that. It makes it nice and smooth. I've got two cans of red beans and a big old can of pinto beans. And that's all you need besides the spices. So I've already got my spices mixed up. But let me tell you what, the, what they are. So I have some ground oregano. I have some cumin and I have some chili powder. So for one batch, you're gonna need two tablespoons of chili powder, one tablespoon of cumin. I make this so much, I know it by heart. One tablespoon of cumin. This, I put on the meat as it's cooking because it just makes it taste better. I put that in salt and pepper, I'll show you. So two tablespoons of chili powder, one tablespoon of cumin, and one teaspoon of ground oregano. And then you also need half a teaspoon of salt in your seasoning mix. So you guys, you do not have to, I'm sorry if it's going blurry. You do not have to buy chili seasoning packets. I hate that stuff. I mean, if you like it, that's great, but it's so much cheaper. I don't hate it because I hate the taste. I just hate how expensive it is when you can make your own. And it takes me like a second and it's so good. So there's my seasoning mix. I'm going to unpack. Oh, if you watch my taco soup recipe, you know. I like masa. She has, this is in her recipe too. This is like a corn flour kind of. Um, uh, she gives you some suggestions if you can't find masa. I have had no problem in several different areas of the country finding masa just at Walmart. I need to buy some more. I'm almost out. And I use this specifically for taco soup and chili. But at the end, I'll show you what we do with this. So if any of this is clear as mud, <laughs> go check out her recipe about down below, but we're going to get cooking in this new, I'm so excited, Kasori multi cooker. I'm so excited. Let's unwrap it. Right, people look how fancy this looks. <laughs> I took everything out and I washed the inner pot. So it's all nice and clean. I put this little, um, comes with this little rubber, uh, gasket thing to put on top of the lid. It went on really easily. Look how fancy this is when you 
Um, <laughs> it's all electronic. Um, so there's a manual mode, rice. So hello, humongous rice cooker here. Yogurt, you can boil, brown, simmer, saute, steam, and then it has your slow cooker functions. This is going to be awesome for church events, like um, fundraisers that we do all the time. This is going to be perfect for that. Slow cooker, low, medium, high, and then there's an full-on oven, roast, bake, off. I mean, hello. Oh my gosh. Here is the little rack you can put inside. It also comes with a recipe book. Um, an instruction manual and all that. So <laughs> I've actually never made um, the chili in a crock pot. So we're going to be learning together. I don't think it's going to be too hard. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this meat in here and we are going to put it on, I'm assuming, brown. Um, or maybe saute. I don't know. We're just going to put it on brown and we're going to get the meat going. All right, you guys. It is still coming all the way to temperature. Um, but it's already sizzling and cooking. <laughs> so I have my ground beef in here and I'm going to cook it up. All I'm going to do, I'm not going to add too much salt because we're adding salt to the seasoning. I'm just going to do a little bit to kind of flavor the meat. Um, and then I've got some pepper. I just like the meat to have a little of its own flavor. And then um, some onion powder. You can use real onions. I think in her recipe she does use onions. Um, I'm about to get this all over me, you guys. <laughs> um, she does use real onions, but we're just going to use the powder because I never have onions, hardly ever. I'm just going to pour some of that in there. Oh, it's going everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to brown this up, and then I'll show you what it looks like. It is smelling delicious. Alrighty, people. So I got the meat nice and brown. That was so easy. And then I just lifted it out to drain the fat off. Um, I don't know if I've said this, but you could totally do this in a pot. This is how I normally make it is in a pot. I'm just trying this little machine out because it's a one pot kind of thing. And um, I am loving it. So I drained the fat off. Next thing I'm going to do, this is my can of Rotel. I just blended it up with an immersion blender. Feel free to dump in a can of Rotel. I'm just super picky. And I don't like like big chunks of it. And then I've got, got my big can of tomato sauce. And I'm also going to dump in all of my seasonings. And grab it here. All of those yummy seasonings. And the only other thing is I'm going to throw in about two cups of water. If you're just making one batch, I would do like a cup and then try it. really depends on how thick you like it. Um, you, at this point, also, if you're doing it in a slow cooker, you can add, go ahead and add the beans in too and just put it on low for several hours. Everything's already cooked. Um, you're just letting the flavors melt. I don't want my beans to get soggy, so I'm going to wait a couple hours, let this kind of go in the slow cooker. I'm going to add my water too after I get done talking to you guys about this because um, we like it pretty soupy. Um, but if you want to not soupy at all if you want it more thicker I wouldn't add water just judge based on you I think she says add like a cup or half a cup I always add more than she says so the only difference I do as opposed to the, the recipe down below is I blend up the rotel and I use less meat and I use a little bit more water so feel free to you know adjust recipes to how you like it but I'm gonna let this go uh, I'm gonna turn this now I did saute and now I'm going to go to slow cooker low and it tells you the temperature. You can set the timer. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do the timer because, well, I guess I can. Um, because, oh, look at that. You just turn the little dial and it changes the timer. I'm going to set it for like two hours because it's already cooked. I'm just combining everything, letting the flavors meld. And um, I'm going to hit start. So now this thing is a slow cooker, you guys. And I just can't get over how many options you have. Um, I will leave their website down below if you want to learn more about this, as well as a link to buy this product if you're interested. I didn't even know one of these existed. But anyway, I'm going to let it go for two hours, and then I'm going to add my beans. Um, if you want to, you can add the beans here. And I'm going to get my water in there, and we're just going to let this cook. And um, it already smells. <laughs> as soon as you add those spices, it smells amazing. So I'll see you guys back in two hours. For you guys, it'll be like, that. As this has been going for about an hour, um, I decided to go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and add the beans. I don't have very long before I need this to be ready. So I'm going to go ahead and add the beans and um, 
let it go on medium. Now I like to add, I like to rinse my beans, but this is a big can of pinto beans, which is like two small cans. And then I like to use red beans as opposed to, I think Pioneer Woman uses the kidney beans. And I just think the red beans are so much better. They're smaller and they're just, they're so good. So I'm gonna pour these in. And of course this thickens up your soup a good bit. Let me grab, grab my spoon here. Um, so I'm just going to let this combine. The only thing we have left is pretty much done. It's just going to heat through and melt together. Look how delicious. This is a huge pot. This is two batches of my chili and it's been so easy. I haven't had to babysit it. That's what's so nice about a slow cooker, um, for chili is that you don't have to sit there and babysit it on the stove. It just can work in the, this is the perfect consistency for me. This is perfect. So uh, I'm going to let this go for another couple hours and then right about 30 minutes before you eat, you want to add the masa and the masa just gives it a nice nutty, um, corny kind of flavor. I don't know how to describe it, but for all the like step-by-step -step instructions, follow the pioneer woman. She breaks it down way, probably way better and less confusingly, but I did want to show you how amazing I'm loving this thing. I've already cleaned out my cabinet, so I have a special place for this. And it is going to be my little star, especially for, like I said, church get-togethers. And I can serve right out of here. I'm so excited. So let me show you guys after a couple more hours how this deliciousness looks when I add the masa. I can't wait to eat this for dinner. It's been a couple hours. Um, this smells so good. The kids are watching Max and Ruby. This is real life. And, you know, I'm not going to disturb them because they're being really good. So the last thing I'm going to do, this is totally optional. The soup is delicious or the chili is delicious just like this. But if you want to kick it up a notch, you take fourth of a cup of masa. Um, I did half a cup because I doubled the recipe. And you mix it with water until it gets all like so pasty and weird and you want to make sure you get out all the lumps I have a few in here I need to kind of work through you want to get out all the lumps um, and you're going to stir this into the soup now this adds such a nutty delicious flavor I don't know if I can do this with one hand but let me show you with just a little bit of it you want to um, just make sure it's incorporated really well because you don't want these to make like little dumplings in your soup. Um, okay, so let me just show you and then I'll mix the rest. You just stir this in. It kind of melts into the chili. This will lighten up the uh, color a little bit and it adds such a nice flavor. So I'm going to stir this in and I'm, we're just going to let it cook for another... I'm going to put it on high and just let it cook for like half an hour. I know this is a lot of steps. You could just throw everything in and just have it like that. Um, but I don't like my beans getting mushy. So that's why I kind of did it in more than one step. So anyway, I'm going to let the masa just kind of heat through good and make sure it's nice and hot. And uh, I'll show you how I top this. And this is going to be delicious. And it's going to be enough for us to eat tonight and have a bunch of frozen. So this freeze is awesome. So coming up next, I am loving this, by the way. Coming up next, I'll show you how I eat it. Yum. All right, you guys, this looks fantastic. It looks so good. So I put some in a bowl for myself. And this is how I like mine. I like to take some cheese, sprinkle that in. And then I have some sour cream in this little squeeze bottle, but you could use, of course, any kind you like. David doesn't really like sour cream in his, but, but I really like it in mine. <laughs> So a little bit of sour cream and then you could also serve this with cornbread but how we like it is some Fritos on top has that nice crunchiness whoop goes a little too much oh. uh, so this is my chili you guys it is so delicious so if you make this you will not be disappointed it is delicious thank you again to Kasori for sending me this awesome multi cooker i can't wait i'm most excited to make yogurt in here oh my gosh plus all the different functions it does it's so easy to use and cook this awesome awesome chili in no time so thank you so much for watching like i said the original recipe will be linked down below if you like this video you know what to do give it a big th thumbs up Leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys all later. Bye, y'all. On a run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. Pride. That's where I never thought